Well, I came to Mass General in 1991, so it's been 20 years. And I've always been interested in brain disorders because it's a really big disease for society, right? And I got to say that in 20 years, this is really the most exciting project that I've had the privilege of, of participating in. We look at cells, right? We try to model what happens in a stroke, what happens in neurodegeneration. But a cell is not a human being. And this really is the first time with Ming Ming's leadership that we're able to go into real patients and sample real blood samples and understand what is really happening in the stroke patient. Now with proteomics, especially what Mary and her colleagues are doing, we can measure almost everything. So with this, you really have the power to make that translational link between what is happening at the cellular level that we poke at, you know, with some confidence in the lab, with really clinical reality. Brain disorders are not just because brain cells are not working well. It really is a network. So different types of brain cells talk to other brain cells. And really what the technology has allowed us to do is to simultaneously measure right, this dysfunctional crosstalk that is happening between all these different quarreling family members. And by doing that, I think we get a sense for where the therapeutic targets may lie. This may eventually lead us to a whole new plethora of different types of targets to chase. Personalized medicine, people usually think of genomics. But not necessarily. There are other ways of measuring markers. I think proteomics is, is one wonderful example of how you can exactly do that, you know, sort of personalize the different types of therapeutic approaches you want to take for each patient. No matter how good your drug is, you will always have responders and non-responders. And the key to any clinical trial is try to understand who your responders are going to be and who your non-responders are. And I think the promise of this type of work is that it may eventually lead us to understand which are the patient subsets that are going to benefit from these therapies we're chasing. Without BRIMS, you know, we can't do this stuff, right? So it is really that close collaboration between the Clinical Proteomics Research Center, headed by uh, Dr. Zeneng and Bonanno, and BRIMS, which is headed by Mary Lopez. This is exactly the type of crosstalk that we need to identify targets.